black women and women in general in America lose money if they get married, and that's not right. So we subsidize single motherhood. 75% of black babies in America do not have a father, a stable father in the home. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kick teaches Libra KUC Berkeley students a lesson on accountability. Okay, let's get right into today's video. If cocaine was right here and I took it, is it the person who dropped it there or my fault if I Both. took it? I think the question of fault wrong. is a wrong My word. fault. It's my fault if I take it. But See, I believe, you take it? I believe that people are responsible for their own decisions, not society. Exactly, but black communities have been redlined for centuries. So families, like families and like Wait, so men, black people are too stupid to know otherwise not take drugs? Is I that your red argument? Line. I did I, did I, did no, you're that's your not argument. Not that. Not that. No, your argument is that black people are too stupid and that drugs come they must no, use them. Exactly. They've been relying to communities and then That's the drugs are being brought in to no, the I, I believe They're being overexposed to it so, and that they're more likely all, to take it. So to your Same point. with white people. You know so many white people have birthday do uh, cocaine so, too, right? So your, your point, we don't different? have enough people in prison, okay? So <laughs> they don't have enough? we so, under-incarcerate rapists, under-incarcerate sexual offenders. Average, rapi average rapist gets three and a half years in prison. Three and a half years. Rapists should get prison to life in castration. We under-imprison people. We probably over-imprison people for some drug possession crimes. You and I could find agreement on that. Okay. Not drug dealing. And those crimes happen to fall along racial lines. So no, they don't. No, they don't. So blacks commit <laughs> more crimes than white has people. statistics behind both. So, like, so, so I'm Hispanic too. As well. Well, look, blacks commit more crimes than white people. We want to say it out loud. It's just the way it works. No. Black, so my let's go. Is why? Blacks kill. Why? Because there are no fathers in the home. And then so, how does that happen? We can't because, just stop asking because, why. Right, exactly. The question, so that's a good question. First of all, it's culture. No one wants to say it. How does culture arise? Yeah, how does we, it, can't, we can't the divorce. Power. We can't divorce the so laws that we're living we, in. So we, we inserted it. ourselves, the federal government in the 1960s, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Great Society Act, inserted themselves in the black community primarily, tore down the homes, put up vertical housing units like Caprini, Caprini Green and others, and then we brought in massive government programs where black women married the government and separated from black men, creating this chasm where we subsidize single motherhood. Black women and women in general in America lose money if they get married, and that's not right. So we subsidize single motherhood. 75% of black babies in America do not have a father, a stable father in the home. 75%. True. Every True. statistic will show if you bring fathers back in the home, crime goes down, depression goes down. Fatherhood.org, look it up. It's publicly funded. It's the California's government Is that funds statistic it. statistic based on marriage, on it's marriage rates? Well, I, I, it depends on whether it's a stable father in the home, right? So how they tabulate it, I'm not really sure, but you go to fatherhood.org. It's publicly funded by the federal government, by state governments. It's like the up. most nonpartisan. Yeah, just look it up. Fatherhood.org. Damn. I love how you dismount today, Mike. It's really, really, really beautiful. The entire video itself was amazing to watch. Um, I keep on saying this. In a black home, father figure means a lot. You can use Tupac as an example. Like, I keep on using that example. Use Tupac, how he's growing up was, he didn't have a father figure, so he chose to be the father in the house. He committed crime and some other stuff. He, he said it in his music. He, he wanted to be a man. He, he observed the struggle of his mother, so he wanted to step up as a man. Father figure, outside of a black family, the crime rate is going to be high in black families. When the father is not... Father figures is, is not right there. Yeah, the crime rate is really high in black families. You can look up the facts. But when the father is there, the crime rate goes down. Because why tr black children like to follow their father footsteps a lot of the times. Like a lot of the times. And this is in general, everyone wants to follow the, some people want to follow their father footsteps. But in black homes, black like, like they, they kinda like look up to their dad and they be like, okay, let it let follow the footsteps of what he did. So this entire video was actually interesting to watch. I, I love the entire video as a whole. I love how Charlie Kick schools all the college students. He educated them about the black lives, about the drug aspects. You, if you keep a drug on the table and someone pick it up, it, it, it's your fault. You picked it up. Why? Your accountability. You have to be accountable for your action. So the entire video itself was interesting to watch. I, I enjoyed every moment of it. And I love how he schools them. Like, it, it was such you know, like, like a teacher. Like, <laughs> this is the reason why I'm telling you this is it it's it actually schooling them and every moment of it was actually interesting to watch I watched a lot of debates like this and Teleki keep on schooling them and educating them about why crime rates in black families are increasing this is the research being done already and proven Thomas Sowell in his book he, he makes data of it he analyzes it so you can go read Thomas Sowell's books 
and you kind of like get a real picture of it and understand where Telekik is coming from with this data. So this is interesting to watch. I love every moment of it. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all